Hello guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys using up my yarn part two. So if you guys saw the part one to this video, then you know how this works. But just in case you don't, this is a series where I am just using up my skeins of yarn that I typically don't use to basically do some mustache busting projects. So I'm going to be using quite a lot of yarns that I bought maybe on clearance or just bought because I was like, ooh, this is pretty and didn't really have a plan for it. So I'm now going to be using those up. So this isn't using up all of my stash, of course, because once I use up a color like white or something that I use a lot of, I go ahead and repurchase that, of course. But this is using up skeins that I probably won't end up repurchasing or at least won't repurchase for a while after I use them up in this series. So anyways, of course, for all of my videos though, you can find the links below for all of the patterns, yarns, and other materials that I'm using throughout this video in the description box below and it will be in the order that I am using and talking about everything. But with that, we're just going to get on into the crocheting portion of this video and then I'll have a little recap of everything that I made. Okay you guys, hello. I have more Burnett Blanket Tweed yarn in the color Ivory Tweed that I need to use up. So I am going to go ahead and start on some chickens because chickens were something that was recommended to me whenever I asked for suggestions for what to make with this yarn. And I am actually in our new house now, but I am still continuing this series even in the new house because I still have so much yarn that needs to be used up. So even though the original premise of the series was to use up as much yarn as I could before moving, I'm still going to continue it even after we have already moved because, you know, I have way more than I know what to do with. Okay, so here is the first little chicken body. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off and I'm gonna make another one and maybe a few more, we'll see. Um, but I'm not finishing each chicken until later because I didn't bring the red yarn that I will need for um, the little top of the head. I didn't bring that from downstairs or I'm downstairs right now, I didn't bring that from upstairs down here is what I'm trying to say. So I'm gonna do that later.
Okay, here is chicken body number two. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go upstairs and get the reddish color that I'm gonna use for the top piece on the chicken. That way I can finish these two off. Okay, so I went ahead and got this color and this is the color Merlot in regular Burnett's blanket. I'm gonna go ahead and make two of the little combs and then finish off the bodies. Here's my first little chicken, which I think it's pretty cute. I do want to adjust the eye placement and a few things on the next one and just see if I can get it to look a little better, but it's not terrible. Okay, here's the second little chicken done, which I like the eye placement and the beak and everything better on this one for sure than I do the first one, but I think they're both super cute. And I haven't decided what I'm going to make next yet but i will keep you guys updated of course okay so the next yarn i'm going to be using is the yarn be velvety smooth yarn in the color counting clouds which is this multi gray and i'm going to use a five millimeter hook with this and i think only one person suggested this but i am going to make a seal with it because i think it'll turn out really cute and I've had this sealed pattern that I purchased a while ago that I've been wanting to make, so I think it's the perfect excuse. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this now. Here is the first little fin. I'm about to do the second one and then I will start on body.
Okay, here's the two little bottom flippers that I'm going to attach together right now and then work into the body. I'm sure that it probably looks like a different day because I'm in different clothes, but it is in fact the same exact day, just an hour or so after, not even probably, probably like 30 minutes or so. And um, I just went and got ready because we're about to leave the house, but I'm still working on this little seal until we leave. And yeah, this is my progress so far. We're now in a different spot, um, but I am crocheting here at my desk in my room and um, watching the sunset right now. So don't mind if the lighting changes uh, quite a bit throughout this clip, but I did go ahead and start a new project. This is going to be a little fox that is using the same Burnett Blanket tweed yarn as well as regular Burnett Blanket in white and black.
so I finished the two arms and the tail which get crocheted into the body and I am working on the first leg now which would be attached to the second leg and then worked into the body. Okay, so I just did the first round where I attached the two legs together and now I'm just continuing to work into the body. Okay you guys, it is now the next day and I went ahead and finished this little wolf off camera. So here's what it looks like. I think it turned out really cute. And I'm now gonna go ahead and get started with the next yarn I'm gonna be using in this video. And that is another yarn B. Actually this is Baby B yarn and this is Baby B Adorable in pink slash white multi. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this. I have a few suggestions from you guys and I think I'm gonna start with a bunny first with this yarn.
here's this little bunny, which I think it turned out super cute. And I think I'm gonna make a second one with this same color since I still have pretty much the whole skein left, it looks like. Here is the second little bunny done and here's the two of them together. I think I'm gonna make some octos with this yarn as well. Probably my octo pattern that is a no sew pattern of course available on my Etsy and we'll see how much I'm able to get done on that.
here's two octos done and I don't have very much left of the skein so that's gonna be it for what I'm working on with this yarn. Okay guys, I'm not 100% sure of the order that I crocheted everything in this video, so don't mind if the recap is out of order. But anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you everything that I made throughout today's video. So, to use up this Burnett Blanket Tweed yarn that I had a lot of, I think I explained it in part one of this series, that I thought I was going to make a blanket with this yarn, so I bought it years ago when it was on some sort of sale at Michael's, if I remember correctly, and I never ended up making a blanket and now I'm trying to use up this particular yarn for some different projects so I went ahead and made two chickens with it which I am obsessed with these I love how they turned out I think they are so cute and I've heard that this pattern is a great seller for a lot of people so I'm excited to bring these to my next event and then with that same yarn I also made this wolf which is so so cute you guys this is a pattern that i bought a while ago and had saved to make at some point and then i saw the designer of the pattern actually made it with this same yarn i believe or at least a similar one and so i was like okay i definitely have to make this now so super excited and happy with how this turned out next we have this little seal which is actually from the same pattern designer that made this wolf as well she has a bunch of awesome patterns so of course they're linked below for you these two but anyways this little seal turned out so so cute and i was very impressed that the only sewing was this little nose piece and yeah it worked up fairly quickly actually i think it only took me around an hour or so so i was pretty impressed by that as well and this was a yarn that I bought on clearance from Hobby Lobby a long time ago when they had it on one of their clearance deals. So, of course, wanted to use that up. And with that same yarn, I also made my little octopus pattern, which I love how it turned out. I think it is so cute. And of course, this is my no-sew 
pattern. And then the final few items are with another Hobby Lobby yarn that I was using up because again, I bought it on one of their clients deals a while back. And that is this pink, gray and white yarn. So first I made these two little bunnies with it, which I think turned out super cute. And then I made Octos with my Octo pattern in this yarn as well, which I don't know what it is about this color for my Octos, but I feel like they are so cute in this color. I'm tempted to keep one. I'm gonna make two, so like why not keep one, right? <laughs> I probably won't end up keeping one. I do have one more skein of this technically, so maybe if they sell well, you might catch me making this pattern again with the same yarn in part three of this series. <laughs> we'll see. But anyways, that is everything that I ended up making in part two of this series. So definitely let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video, and of course, give it a big thumbs up if you did. I enjoy doing these videos because I feel like it puts me a little bit out of my comfort zone. I'm not just using the same yarns that I'm used to all the time, and I'm having to think up new ideas for what I could make with different things, as well as I'm using your suggestions. So I think it's super fun to not only get ideas from you guys for what you think I should make with specific yarns, but also in general, just to get through some of my stash because while we have already moved and I am currently sitting in the new house, I still would like to get through as much of my stash as possible to be honest with you because I have way, way, way too much. And I know I'm gonna continue to buy, so I might as well try to use some of it up. Now, if you guys did enjoy today's video and you wanna make sure you don't miss out on part three of this series, as well as all of my other videos, of course, you can hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that we know every single time I upload a brand new video. And if you guys do wanna see more from me, of course, you can check out my videos of mine, my blog, my Etsy shop, my Ribbler shop, all of my social media is my second channel. All of that is always included in the description box of every single video for you guys, of course. And if you do want to check out the patterns, yarns, any other materials I used in today's video, of course, that is linked in the description box below as well. So with all of that, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys here in the next one. Goodbye!